Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Today I have a very special video because this is my first gifted jigsaw puzzle. I was contacted by the company Woodbest. They make wooden jigsaw puzzles and they wanted to send me one of their jigsaw puzzles as a gift. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Don Louise, you haven't been the biggest fan of wooden jigsaw puzzles. True. And I actually replied and told them that. I said, uh, that's very sweet of you, but I haven't really enjoyed the wooden puzzles I've done before, so uh, maybe I should pass. And they said, no, no, that's okay. Go to our website, have a look at what we have to offer, and if there's anything you like, just let us know and we'll send it to you. Okay, okay, I should just dismiss them right away. So I went to their website, and these are the reasons why I chose to accept their gift. First of all, the variety of wooden jigsaw puzzles. They had, you know, shaped puzzles like cut into animals or flowers, but they had circle puzzles and rectangular puzzles. They had color gradient puzzles, um, typical illustrative puzzles, as well as those pattern puzzles that are kind of a bit busy and crazy. There was so much variety, even the cut of the pieces. Some puzzles have like the same piece cut um, that are repeated. I think those were in the color gradient ones. Just, there was just so much to choose from, as well as personalized wooden jigsaw puzzles. You can like upload an image and have a puzzle personalized for you. So I thought, well, that's really nice. And I did find one that I absolutely loved and felt I wanted it right away. I thought if this was a cardboard puzzle, I would absolutely want it. So I thought, okay, that's, that's one tick. The second reason is they gave me a discount code to share with you all. So if you use discount code LOVEPUZZLES15, then you can get 15% off your purchase. And who doesn't like a discount code? Seriously. The third reason is they gave me my first affiliate link. So yes, I'm affiliated, which means that if you use the link in the description below to go make your purchase and use the discount code, I get a commission, which goes back into helping me buy more jigsaw puzzles and make more videos for you all. So that was really nice. And finally, the major decision why I decided to do it is that I know many of you love wooden jigsaw puzzles and you wanna know about other brands and what's out there. So I thought I should take them up on their offer. So thank you very much to Woodbest for reaching out to me. I'll leave all their links in the description below to their YouTube page, their Instagram and Facebook, as well as the affiliate link you can use if you make any purchases. Don't forget to use your discount code, lovepuzzles15. So without further ado, Let's get in closer and have a look at this jigsaw puzzle. So as we can see, we have our box here and it's just absolutely beautiful. The name of this puzzle is Sweet Donut and we have an image of the puzzle right on the front. On the side, I'm not sure how clear this comes through, but we also have the name of the puzzle and a little symbol, a little donut. And this is the size large, 287 pieces and it's approximately 12 inches in diameter. I'm not most familiar with inches, but my hubby tells me that's about 30 centimeters. Now for this particular puzzle, you could get a small, medium, or large size, and that's the number of pieces. I do know some of their puzzles actually go up to extra large as well. So you have the name of the company up there in the corner, Creative Wood Puzzles, and three little symbols down here. Very nice, very lovely box, very well made, really enjoy that. On the back of the box here, what's interesting, those four symbols that were down at the corner, they're all explained here. What I really like is the eco-friendly. Made of natural basswood, the puzzle is eco-friendly and the HD UV printed image with surface coating could prevent water stains and scratches. So really enjoy that about the puzzle as well. Now, the lid comes off, really cute, and then you get inside the box. Look at this, how adorable is this? This is a little easel, 
and I'll put up a picture so you can see better, but you can stand your easel and then you can put the lid on top to display so as you build you can see your image. So, so nice. Now, I do know that you don't have to just order the puzzle in the box. You can also get it in an eco-friendly bag as packaging. And if you do, um, I don't believe the easel comes with it, but you do get a pull-out insert with the image of your, post, of your puzzle, kind of like a little poster. So yeah, how cute is that? Inside the box, there's this little, is this like burlap, I would say? Little, look at that, little cover and all your pieces are inside so nice now first of all right off the bat look how colorful these are this is what i wanted i firmly believe in order to enjoy any jigsaw puzzle you have to enjoy the image if you don't enjoy the image i don't think you're going to enjoy the jigsaw puzzle so i will admit the last two wooden puzzles i did i really did not enjoy the image but with this one, the bright colors already, the design, I love it so much more just because I love the image so much more. So that's really, really quite nice. The pieces, I'll put a close-up image. They're maybe, well, they're a good thickness. I think they're a good thickness. It looks like they're one solid piece with then a cover on the top that the image is printed on and then all the pieces have like the same kind of cover on the bottom so it's a nice like what would you call that natural wood color at the bottom also looking at the pieces they don't look too too shiny which I love because when they're too glossy it's really hard on the eyes they do appear to have a little bit of a shimmer on the donuts. So I'm excited to see this all finished to see how it looks. But this has a very lovely finish to it. Very lovely finish. I can't wait to play around with these pieces. Now, I got this today. And Paige, who I've been trying to get to puzzle with me on the channel for a long time now, has always said, no, I'm not good at jigsaw puzzles. I can't puzzle. No, I'm not going to be on your channel. Fine. This was on the table, all closed up, and she came over with Pixie so Pixie could play with Thora. Well, she saw this and she went, oh my goodness, I love wooden jigsaw puzzles. I said, what, what? You told me you're not good at puzzles and here you love wooden jigsaw puzzles. So she opened this up already and the first thing she did, she pulled out all the whimsy pieces. Look at that. So they're already sorted for me because not only does she love wooden pieces, she loves sorting jigsaw puzzles. So this is all news to me because she keeps telling me that she's not good at puzzles. So here are the whimsy pieces. How many are in total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, I believe 19 if she found them all. I'll do some close-up shots of those as well. And they're very much themed to the dessert. So for example, we have here, this is like a cupcake. But what I love about this is on the front, obviously the detail can be a bit lost by the image from the jigsaw puzzle. You flip it over though, and they still have the design that brings the whimsy pieces of life on the back. Look at that. So you can still make out on the back of the pieces what's going on. Maybe the rolling pin doesn't have any, but the whisk and the spatula do. Here's a muffin and a piece of cake. There's um, an oven mitt and some candy, some lollies. And that looks like maybe like a sugar jar or whatnot. So even from the back, the whimsy pieces are just a joy to look at. And, you know, just so much fun. I believe that's an avocado. Perhaps that's a, a pomegranate or a persimmon. I'm not sure. I don't know if she found all the whimsy pieces, but those are the ones that she pulled out. So thank you so much, Paige. Miss, I don't do jigsaw puzzles. Oh my goodness, I love wooden jigsaw puzzles. I can't wait. <laughs> so on top of pulling out all the whimsy pieces, because you know, all of a sudden she loves sorting puzzles, 
she also pulled out all the border pieces that she could find and started assembling it. We got distracted by the girls playing outside though, so she didn't get very far. But how fun is that? Look at the color. Look at the color. Oh, I love this so much already. So there is another thing that I did in preparation for doing another wooden puzzle is I watched other wooden jigsaw puzzle videos. And I do now have a better appreciation that wooden puzzles are not the same as cardboard puzzles. And in the sense that, you know, they're loose fitting. And sometimes what you have to do is spread the pieces a little bit loose so you can drop a piece into place and then you can push them back together. That just seems to be the way it is with wooden jigsaw puzzles. So I have to understand that because of the design and the way they cut, they're not going to have that perfect snug fit I'm used to with cardboard puzzles and that's fine. What I do love about this, and again I'll put more close up pictures, it looks like the prongs because that's the innie. So the prong, eventually when I find it, they're like cut, they look like little hearts and little butterfly wings. And you can see the detail much better from the back. So I'll try to put up some close-up shots when I find some good pieces that are representative. So I love that the prongs have cute little detail in them. That looks like a little heart. And there, that looks like butterfly wings. Oh, too, too cute. So, I'm excited to do this already. I love it so much more. I did not find any pieces that were split or damaged. That's a win. The color, bright, colorful, but nice, kind of matty, satiny, maybe that's the best word to use, finish. Perhaps a bit of glimmer on each of the donuts. Love the whimsy pieces. Oh, look at the pineapple. Love that there's detail on the back. So far, I'm having lots of fun. And Paige, Miss I Don't Jigsaw Puzzle lying to me, she was all over this. If I would have left her alone, she would have had it all done. So, without further ado and for the love of puzzles, let's get to building this thing. next day and I stayed up way too late playing with this jigsaw puzzle. Now I had made a promise on this channel that I would never promote anything that I didn't believe in, that I didn't enjoy, or didn't use myself. I've actually been contacted by other companies wanting to gift me stuff or pay me to promote their items through posts or videos and I've turned them down. This is the first one that I've accepted as a gift and yes I was worried that I may not enjoy it, but I thought, let's give it a go. Well, I love it. 
I absolutely love this jigsaw puzzle. Now let's take out the image factor. I realized I didn't enjoy the images on my first two wooden jigsaw puzzles, so let's just set that aside, but I do love this image. Here's three reasons why I absolutely love this jigsaw puzzle. First of all, there were no small itty bitty pieces. The other two that I did had small little finicky pieces. All these pieces were a nice size, very manageable to work with. So I enjoyed that. Second, remember I pointed out that they had like little heart shaped prongs or butterfly wing prongs? That really helped me. Because in a standard jigsaw puzzle, the pieces can go typically one of two ways, you know, directions. Whereas these puzzles, the pieces can go any which way. So those shaped prongs really helped, for me at least, who's not an expert with wooden jigsaw puzzles, assembling the puzzle. Because almost every piece had a, that type of shaped prong. And so I knew approximately where in the puzzle it went. And I could determine, you know, oh, well, does it go in this heart shape hole or this one? Okay, it goes there. So I felt it made it easier, still a challenging puzzle, but fun to do and not overwhelming. So that was the second reason. The third reason is the smoothness of the cut of these pieces. I don't think I had an issue with any pieces getting stuck with it in one another. It was great. In fact, when I come to the end of the video, I always like to pull up the whimsy pieces and do some funky photos with them or some videos. And typically that is the worst. The last two wooden jigsaw puzzles, it was such a chore to pull those pieces out from the jigsaw puzzle. Whereas this one, they were so easy to pull out and lift out, nothing stuck. I also think that these pieces might be a little thinner than the other two wooden jigsaw puzzles I tried. And maybe that helps that the thicker the piece, although you think that would be better quality, might make it just so they, they get stuck more. There's more volume there for the pieces to get jammed in together. No issues whatsoever with pieces sticking or getting stuck. It does have that looseness fit that now I know I come to expect from a wooden jigsaw puzzle. But it wasn't bad. I, I took my time and was careful working with the puzzle. I didn't knock anything. I loved it. I enjoyed it. I hate when pieces stick to one another. That's the worst. So those are the three main reasons I absolutely, absolutely love this jigsaw puzzle. Now, I did figure out that the middle piece, it's like a milk bottle, an old fashioned milk bottle with a straw sticking out of it. So it's a two part whimsy cut piece. How cute is that? And look, they're still all standing up. I can't believe they haven't fallen over yet. So Paige missed, I don't do jigsaw puzzles to I love wooden jigsaw puzzles. I love sorting puzzles. Well, we always exchange gifts at Christmas. So I told her, go on their website and pick out, you know, a wooden jigsaw puzzle you would like. I want to order you one. She probably picked out one of the most difficult images that they had. I would steer clear from it, although it's beautiful. It's called, I believe, Fantastic Nebula. I'll put an image up of it. So I got her that in the extra large size. I believe it has over 700 pieces. It's going to be challenging. So challenging. You know, I need to get her on the channel. She needs to puzzle with me. If she can tackle that nebula, then she can do any of the puzzles I set forth with her. And I also ordered another one for myself, Fairy Tale Castle. So again, I wanted an image that I would enjoy, but I decided I wanted to, you know, do um, not a standard border. Um, puzzle, but he shaped what I like to call it has like the border is in, in a shaped and it's shaped like a fairy tale castle. So I'll put an image up as well of that. So I did have to make sure that the affiliate link worked and it did as well as the discount code. So love puzzles 15. So yeah, I got 15% off my order. The affiliate link worked and I don't even know why, but I got free shipping. So I haven't been able to figure that out. I wonder if they offer free shipping if you spend over so much money. I don't think it's tied to the discount code, but hey, I'll take it. So that was really, really nice. 
So again, I want to thank you, Woodbess, for trusting me with one of your jigsaw puzzles. I absolutely loved it. I'll leave all their details below to their YouTube channel, their Instagram and Facebook, as well as the affiliate link. If you feel like buying any puzzles, you're more than welcome to do so and use the discount code. It'll help the channel. But if you don't, no pressure. It's okay because I'll probably use it myself. <laughs> And thank you all for watching. I really, really appreciate you being here with me. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao!